Welcome to Northwest Fencing Center's coaching series on YouTube. Coach Michael McTeague with you. And we're going to take a brief few minutes today to look at epe troubleshooting on the strip. A lot of the times, in spite of our best efforts, we go out to fence and things aren't working properly. And it's sometimes a problem to figure out what has gone wrong exactly so that we know what to do to fix it. Is it my body cord? Is it my weapon? Is it my opponent's problem? Is it something wrong with the club scoring equipment? There's some pretty simple little steps that we can go through and find out exactly where the problem is. It helps to understand exactly what is happening with the equipment. An epee is really simple. For foils, when we talk about them next week, they're a little more complicated. But an epee has two wires glued in the groove going down the blade and it has a tip on the end with the push button. We all know this. Essentially what this push button is, is a switch. And with your body cord, it's connected to your scoring light. The switch is off, you push the button, the switch is on, and the light should come on. It's a fairly simple circuit. We also have metal strips and bell guards that are grounded so that when we hit those, the current goes into the ground because there's less resistance and the light does not turn on even though we've pushed the switch. When we look at a body cord, I'm gonna come in close enough here for you to see that cat hair on my, on my jacket. When you see a body cord, you have three prongs. And these three prongs, the first two here that are close together, those are the ones that travel up to the tip and the switch. And this third one that's all alone over here, that's the ground that's connected to our bell guard. Okay, so troubleshooting. I've gotten hooked up on the strip. I plugged myself in. I've already checked to make sure that the machine is on. Got everything set. And I simply hit my foot. Or I hit the wooden floor off the strip. And my scoring light should come on. Maybe I just push it with my finger. But the scoring light should come on. It doesn't. Now what do I do? So. It doesn't go off. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug my body cord. And I'm gonna take the two prongs that are closest together. We already talked about those are the ones that are attached to the strip. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna short them using the edge of my, 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 my bell guard. I'm going to make sure those two prongs touch my bell guard and not the third one. And when I do that, I'm making another switch and the light should go on. If the light goes on, that means the problem is my weapon. My tip has come out of adjustment or the wire is broken somewhere or maybe the wire is not connected here in the socket. Whatever it is, the problem is the weapon. I need to go get another weapon. Simple enough. Now, if I short those two and nothing happens, the most likely thing is, is my body cord is bad. So I can switch my body cord, plug back in, test, everything is working, I'm good to go. If even with a new body cord, nothing is working and everything is plugged in, the reel is plugged in, the machine is plugged in, everything's on, then at this point you could swap with the person on the other side. You plug into their side, they plug into yours. Now, if all of a sudden their stuff doesn't work and yours does, you know the problem is in the circuit, somewhere in the reel or the floor cord and it's a club issue grab a coach, help coach, something's wrong with the, with the machine. They'll come over, they'll help you troubleshoot that piece of it. It's the, club's, it's the club's issue at that point. Now, we've done all of this. Everything worked. We plugged in, got our veil set, bump, 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 beep, light goes off, wonderful. What's the next thing all of us FA fencers do before we fence? We walk up to each other and we test bells. Clonk, clonk. Just a word on here. All you need to do is touch the other person's bell hard enough to push your tip closed. You don't have to slam it. That's a moving part. You don't want to wear your tip out slamming somebody else's bell. Test bells. Nothing goes off. That's what's supposed to happen. That means the grounding works. You guys can go ahead and fence. 
Now we go and test bells. Boom. And my light goes off. That means that my fencing partner's light, my fencing partner's equipment has a problem. It's not grounded. His bell guard is not grounded. Now, if I look at his bell guard and there's a whole bunch of chocolate on it, or, uh, you know, from eating a snack, well, that's because chocolate is keeping it from grounding. So make sure everything's clean. But usually there's no visual uh, indication that anything's wrong. I've just hit their bell guard and my light went off. Well, that means it's not grounding. So what we're going to do is have that person unplug. And I'm going to get up here close again. We're going to take our FA and we're going to push it up against this. Um, hold this around so you can see it. I'm going to push it up against the third leg, that grounding leg. And I'm going to push my the button on my tip. And this is the grounding circuit outside of the weapon. If I push it up against there and it still goes off, then the problem is likely to be my body cord. And I need to swap my body cord out, plug back in, test bells again, things are probably fine. If I've swapped my body cord and we've and um, and we've tested the body cord and, and, and it still goes off, then the problem is probably in the reel in the circuit. You need to call your coach over to look at the um, the club equipment. If they hit me and their light goes off, then the problem is mine. And we go through the same testing procedure. We're going to check my body cord. I'm going to swap my body cord out. We'll check again. If it still fails, then it's club equipment. If it works again, then great. I have a body cord that needs repair. But at least we're fencing now, and I know everything is fine. So that's the most likely set of things that are going to happen. It's usually a bad body cord, a tip that's come out of adjustment, a wire that's broken in here, something that just happened while we were, while we were fencing. Even with really good maintenance, we don't typically get warning signs with our electronic equipment. It works right up until it doesn't. So the whole, hey, it worked one bout ago. Well, it worked one bout ago. It doesn't now. So time to, time to fix it. Now at a competition, a referee is going to pay very close attention to this, these situations. If it doesn't pass a particular test, it doesn't go off, um, the bell guard doesn't seem to be grounded, they are going to walk you through the testing procedure and the troubleshooting procedure because they need to ascertain whether the problem is with your equipment your opponent's equipment or with the venue equipment. If it's venue equipment, in other words, if it's anything from your body cord back to the machine, that's the referee's issue. Nobody's getting a card for that. He needs to get an armor and they need to fix it. If the problem, of course, is you or your opponents, one of you is going to get a card. Um, we have, we do everything we can as we have in previous videos, talk about controlling stuff. But every once in a while, in spite of that, we may get a card, let it go, grab your next weapon and move on. So that's the simple, basic troubleshooting that goes on. Does it work? Is it grounded? Those are the two main things with Epe. And they're pretty simple. Nine times out of 10, it's a tip or a body cord. Quick fix, you're back to fencing. Um, Anything more complicated than that, you can ask for help for. And those of you that are really interested in armory can pursue it. But for most of us, that's really all we need to know. Is it scoring touches? Is my bow guard grounded? And is the problem my weapon, my cord, or somebody else's problem? And that's it. Short and sweet. Thanks for tuning in. Take care of your equipment. Take care of yourselves. As my mother used to say, Wash your hands. So take care.